Hello, good evening, good evening. Welcome back once again. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the subscribe button? If you have subscribed, Glow World Exceptional, they say, thank you. I appreciate you all, thank you. So, this evening, I want to talk about some birthdays. How do you mark your birthdays? How do you see your birthdays? How do you start your birthdays? Do you know that your birthdays are your new year? Your first day of the year? Yes, you celebrate Happy New Year. Happy New Year generally is for everyone. Even if you are born on the 1st of January, we all celebrate New Year collectively. But each and every person's birthday is the new year of the life of that person the beginning of the new year of the life of that person so how do you celebrate your birthday in the past we basically some of us have been making this mistake of probably just um we think it's a day to have a phone a day to take ourselves out a day to buy beautiful gifts and all that it doesn't end there and it shouldn't end there. That is why sometimes a circle is being repeated in our life, especially for um, those of us that are believing God for one thing or the other. Because sometimes we don't use our birthday wisely. We realize that um, at the end of that particular year, going into another year of our life. Now, this is what I'm trying to say. At the end of, let's assume today is my birthday, right? This is the beginning, this is the first day of um, the year of my birthday, you understand? Now, if not used wisely, please don't get me wrong, the journey and destiny of any man is in the hands of God. God has ordained it, right? Yes. But sometimes our journeys are being delayed, but not denied. Yes. They are being delayed. Sometimes some blessings that are destined for us have been released already by God. But because of one thing, some things, they hinder it from coming to pass. Now, the way you use your birthday, the earlier you begin to know that your birthdays are spiritual, the better for you. Um, that the earlier you know that your birthdays are more spiritual than the physical activities, the better for you. Now, seven days or eight days, at most eight days before your birthday, you are supposed to do some things. There is a saying that um, the day a man is born, everyone around them smile, laugh. Then such a man cries, right? But the day a man closes his eye to meet his maker, to transition beyond such a man should be smiling while others are alive or around him or her are crying now what is that smile that smile is it mean, it's, it's not a physical smile you understand that smile is a smile of, of uh, fulfillment a smile that i have a um, I have served humanity. A smile that I have taught the life of others positively. Such a smile should be the smile on the face of that person. Now, with birthdays, every year draws closer a reminder that our days on earth are coming closer. Yes, that is the truth. No one wants to talk about, but that is the truth. Even if we are going to live a hundred or something years on earth, each birthday tells us that we are drawing closer to our maker. Good. Seven days or eight days before your birthday, there are things you're supposed to do. We call them um, letting go, things you let go. There are times of sober reflection, times of looking back, times of forgiveness, times of reasoning, times of um, outlining the mistake you made in the past, um, in the year, you understand? You're still in that year, but seven days or eight days before, make it a time of sober reflection, a time to look back, a time to forgive, a time to let go. Now, forgiving does not mean you are going to draw the person closer. No, forgiving means you are letting go to let yourself free, you understand? So you take if you want you take a note if you want stay in solitude just 
think big. What have I done in this year that I'm not supposed to do? What am I supposed What am I supposed to do that I have not um, done or achieved? What am I supposed to achieve by God's grace? That due to my own negligence, I have not achieved them. Not because I tried to, but the universe and God Almighty did not say, okay, it is time for you to achieve this. You understand? What are the things I have been doing in these past years that are not bringing me um, positive results, that are not giving me joy, that are not giving me happiness, that are not giving me fulfillment, that are not giving me that self-love. What are they? Outline them, list them, reason them, and let them go. Now, can I tell you something? Few days before your birthday, you are supposed to be having a cleansing, a cleansing bath. That is you cleansing out and letting go of the negativity. As you let it go from your mind by reflection and reasoning, you let it go physically by cleansing yourself. There are some cleansing beds you can have in preparation to your new year, the new year of your life ahead of you. You understand? Now, there goes again. The first some 12 days in your birthday, Let's assume today is my birthday. Today is the first day, right? I will count 12 days ahead. There are days to sit down and outline my dreams, to sit down and outline the things I want to achieve. See, when you go into another birthday blankly, you still meet another year blankly, sometimes, most times. That is the truth. That is why you see some persons, we keep doing the same thing, expecting the same, expecting a different result, which doesn't work that way. So 12 days before your next, um, sorry, 12 for the first 12 days of your birthday, there are days to align your dreams, days to look inward. What do I want to achieve in this new year of my life? Before this year, new year of my life will run out, by the grace of God, these are the things I want to achieve. These are the things I, I want to... I, I, these are the new things I want to associate myself with. Remember, in the seven days um, before, if there are friends or people that are not bringing out the best in you, let them go in that seven days. Yes, let them go. Then, look again. Who are the persons I'm supposed to um, emulate? Who are the persons I'm supposed to have as role, uh, role models? Even though God Almighty should be our number one role model. Yes. God should be our number one role model. But even at that, there are people we should look up to. There are people we should look up to either in the area of maritally, um, um, what's it called, academically, um, career-wise, or whatever, business-wise. There are people that you should look at. They should be your mentor. Like myself, I'm looking at um, Fola Shade, the richest woman in Nigeria. She's one of my mentors. I love that woman. Then there are... Um, Dora, Akuyili, um, let's not go there. So many of them I have as mentor. You understand? Even though Dora is late, may I so rest in peace and all that. So there are so many people you are supposed to take as mentor. Your best day should be a time to look into the life of your mentors to see what thing. Even though people are your mentors, doesn't mean they are perfect. They have their life behind closed door. The life you're seeing is the one they portray in camera, right? Now, the ones they are portraying in camera that you feel is good, is feel is right, then pick it up. Your birthday should be a spiritual time of reflection. Don't take your birthday as every other day. No, it's not every other day. Your birthday is the day God and the universe are signed and agree. You, your birthday was never a mistake. Yes, even though some of us we want to say, ah, I would have loved to be born in the, on the day or in this month. This I love this month. We don't have that power. Your birthday is pre-designed by God and the universe. So you need to cherish that day spiritually. You need to start seeing your birthday as a spiritual event and not a physical event. Outline things. On your birthday, can you sow something? You can go out and feed that needy. You can sow, sow something and speak and tell God and the universe, before my next birthday, my life should not remain the same. My life should not be the way it is. My life should be better. My life should be a mirror to, uh, for others to emulate. Before my next birthday, I pray by God's grace I need to achieve this and achieve that. Remember, as you're achieving or planning or laying that whatever, do not leave God behind because he is the only one that can make whatever you wish or pray for to come to pass. Birthdays are spiritual. Birthdays are dates or days of um, Thanksgiving. Birthdays are days of sober reflection. 
birthdays are days of joy and fulfillment make wise use of your birthday stop seeing your birthdays as every other day thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you it's not other person but glow world exceptional thank you